From the toilet to the Newtown Creek wastewater treatment plant in Greenpoint. Cooking grease combined with baby wipes is ruining equipment and has workers doing overtime to weed it out at the Department of Environmental Protection. Last month, this is what workers had to remove from pipes in Jamaica, Queens. It's called a fatberg, combining the words fat and iceberg to describe a congealed mass of grease and personal hygiene products. Workers in the UK recently found one more than 200 feet long. It takes weeks to remove. And can cause backups of sewage, can cause street flooding. So they are a problem and a growing problem. Last year, almost 90 percent of the city's sewer backups were caused by grease and wipes. That means there were more than 2,000 mini fatbergs just like this. As sewage comes in from people's homes and catch basins, it comes to the treatment plant and meets its first line of defense. This gate, which stops wipes and other products from getting through. And whatever material got caught on those bars is now getting pulled up. And as you can see, a lot of it is flushable wipes. It's on top of the rake. The rake is now bringing those wipes all the way to the top, to the main floor of the plant where it's going to be put into a dumpster to be carried away. In 2017, more than 50,000 tons of debris were transported to landfills. That's equivalent to dozens of Olympic-sized swimming pools. The price tag around $18 million, triple from a decade ago. Trash it, don't flush it. Now, the city's educating New Yorkers in a new ad campaign. Only flush the four P's, poop, pee, paper, and puke. And don't flush wipes, grease, or any other items. The city is calling it the fight against fatbergs, with the goal of having a fatberg-free NYC. In Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, TV 1055.